So the vaccination process for COVID-19 has begun, and most of us have either gotten the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. But there's another manufacturer close to bringing another vaccine to market, AstraZeneca, and their vaccine works in a completely different way. On today's episode, the top three ways the AstraZeneca vaccine is different than the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. What's up San Antonio and world? I'm Dr. Kasim Butt and I'm a kidney doctor and I'm here to break down health in a simple way. Now do me a favor, hit up that like and share button. It'll really help me out. So there are two vaccines out there for COVID-19 in the United States. One by Pfizer, the other by Moderna. But there's another manufacturer, AstraZeneca, developing one in the UK. Now, it has already seeked approval and gotten it in the UK, but it may take a few more weeks or a few more months before it gets approval here in the US. So, what are the key differences between the AstraZeneca vaccine and the ones by Pfizer and Moderna? Storage. Now, one of the key issues when you have a vaccine is how do you store it and transport it and at what temperature? The Pfizer vaccine has to be stored at around negative 112 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. The Moderna vaccine has to be stored between negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit and five degrees Fahrenheit. And this means both these vaccines need special refrigeration units to store them and to transport them. On the other hand, the AstraZeneca vaccine can be stored around 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. This means it can be stored in a regular refrigerator. Big deal. Cost. Now, if you're in the United States, the cost of the vaccine will be paid for by the government, so no worries. But for the sake of knowledge, you should know the Pfizer vaccine costs about $20 per dose. The Moderna vaccine costs between $32 and $37 per dose. But there is a big difference. The AstraZeneca vaccine is far cheaper. It will cost around $3 to $4 per dose. In fact, the company has actually stated that it will actually sell the vaccine at cost and make no profit. The combination of low cost and easier storage makes it more ideal for poorer developing countries. And that's why they're placing large orders for it. How it works. Now, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines represent a new technology in the form of mRNA vaccines. Now, to understand mRNA vaccines and how traditional vaccines work, y'all gotta check out my video on it. I explain it in detail. The AstraZeneca vaccine is a virus vector vaccine. What is that? Before I go over that, let me go over some basic concepts, but again, you may wanna watch my other video to get the better details. On the outside of every virus is something called spiked proteins. Now, y'all have probably seen pictures of the COVID-19 virus. Those little spikes going around it, those are the spiked proteins. Well, when you gain immunity to a virus, via either infection or vaccine, the spike protein is what you gain actual immunity to. So this vaccine does not contain any of the actual COVID virus. Rather, it injects you with a sequence of DNA that makes your cells, yes, your cells, make the spike protein itself. So they take an adenovirus that typically causes cold-like symptoms in chimpanzees. Then they weaken it, making it unable to replicate itself. Then inside the virus itself, they place a new segment of DNA, essentially new genes. Once you take the vaccine, the adenovirus goes to your cell and injects that DNA sequence into your cell, which then goes into your nucleus, which houses your own DNA. Now remember, this sequence of DNA from the virus does not incorporate into your DNA at all. Once in the nucleus, it gets translated into mRNA, messenger RNA, which then goes to the ribosome, which is the protein factory of the cell, where the ribosome makes the spike protein of the COVID-19 virus. Then that spike protein goes outside of the cell. Once the spike protein is displayed outside of the cell, that's when your body has an immune response and you gain immunity to it. Got it? I just took y'all back to high school biology class, huh? For your understanding, here's a comparison of how normal protein is made versus an mRNA vaccine versus a virus vector vaccine. 
Let me know if you have any questions about the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. Oh, if you got something to say, please leave comments in the comment section below. And remember, it's your kidneys, your health.